Good afternoon. Uh, today is April 6th and uh, we are here to, uh, on behalf of Indian Overseas Congress to discuss the stra election strategy for the uh, Congress party in India and how NRIs can help the Congress campaign in India. My name is Rajinder Dichpalli and I am the National General Secretary of Indian Overseas Congress. Um, the Congress released its manifesto last week and uh, the manifesto represents the aspirations and the wishes of uh, people of India. Uh, and it also has inputs from the NRIs. Uh, these inputs were collected with uh, under the uh, meetings held uh, for Indian Overseas Congress under the leadership of Sam Pitradaji across the globe. And the, manif manifesto has, uh, the Congress manifesto has come up with some landmark schemes that will help the people of India, especially the uh, downtrodden people. The Nyai scheme, uh, which is part of the manifesto uh, under the dynamic leadership of uh, uh, our President, Con uh, Congress President Rahul Gandhi, has assured a minimum income for every Indian, a minimum income of 6,000 rupees for every Indian. This will help distribute the wealth more evenly across India. Because in the last uh, five years, we've seen that wealth distribution is lopsided. 3% of the people of India have accumulated huge amount of wealth and the downtrodden people have gone below the poverty line and the Congress party wants to address this issue. So we have come up with a landmark uh, scheme called the Nyai scheme which will help uh, the, dis uh, the downtrodden people of India. Another aspect that uh, is uh, very important is the employment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had promised two crore jobs in the run-up to the elections in 2014. Did he deliver on that? The answer is no, because unemployment is the highest in the last 45 years. And the Congress party wants to address this issue urgently and very importantly. We have seen how demonetization has created a huge impact in unemployment in uh, India, especially in, in rural areas, in unorganized business. And Congress party will address this issue uh, if, uh, if it comes back to power. Then uh, another issue there is the farmers' uh, 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 issue, which is core to the uh, issue for uh, the country like India, because 70 percent of India depends upon farming, and the Congress Party wants to address the distress of the farmers, especially the people who have taken uh, distressed farmers who have taken big loans and are not able to pay back and are committing suicides all across India. The Congress Party wants to give them. The, uh, the loan waiver and help them with uh, irrigation facilities and uh, with fertilizers and with various other uh, help so that they can regain their farming livelihood and contribute to the na national growth. Uh, we have seen that the Prime Minister had promised so many things including curbing corruption, bringing back black money and giving uh, and putting 15 lakh rupees to the account of every Indian. He has not delivered on any of his promises. And in fact, the core issue of national security has taken a big beating. Foreign policy is totally uh, without direction. And the Congress party will address this. We have seen how NRIs have played a major role uh, on behalf of the Congress party, right from independence movement, where in a great NRIs like uh, Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru and uh, uh, Patel had come back and provided leadership for the uh, Congress party and the country. And even during the economic uh, uh, distress in the 90s, we have seen various NRIs uh, like uh, our great uh, Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh Ji, Raghuram Monte Kaluvalya, and various Chidambaram, Salman Kurshid come back to India to provide better governance. And we hope uh, with the Congress party in distress now, NRIs will play an important role again in uh, providing the leadership and governance for the, on behalf of the Congress party. Uh, the, Congress pa uh, uh, the Indian Overseas Congress played a major role in uh, canvassing for the Congress party in states like Punjab, Rajasthan and uh, Madhya Pradesh. And we want to replicate that in the general elections. In Punjab, we had uh, over 100 NRIs go from here in countries like uh, US and Canada and Australia and canvass on behalf of the Congress party. That made a huge impact in the outcome of the election in Punjab where the Congress won with a landslide majority. 
So we want to replicate that model with the general elections. And today's meeting is to discuss strategy and how NRIs can uh, again uh, help the Congress party in India. Because this election is very critical for the people of the country and uh, the progress of the country. And we hope that Congress party can take the inputs of all sections of the people, including the NRIs, in coming back to power and providing better governance for the country. Jai Hind and Jai Congress.